Martin, would you be surprised if I told you that these MX520s from Matsura are their fastest selling five axis machine? No, I think uh, they're very popular at the minute because they're just so easy to use. They're really ergonomic, um, they're good for small batch production because uh, everything's right where you need it. Well, you, you, these two machines here, this is a new factory, these two machines were the first in here, weren't they? So, yeah. how new are they? Uh, this one, I think it's about six months, and then this one came for our old factory about, it's been about two and a half years old now. And I know you didn't spend the money yourself on buying these machines, but you were involved in the decision technically. Yeah. What are the things that you are you do like about the machines? Uh, the tool carousel is really good. It's a, it's a nice compact system with the 60 tools, and this one's got 90. Um, the and the loading of the machines? Yeah, the, the loading is really ergonomic because it's, it's right at waist height, and the pallet size is a really nice... And how about, the, how about the control? How do you program these? You're doing complex parts, aren't you? You're doing, you're doing some yeah, pretty sophisticated doing, stuff. Doing complex parts, um, some on power mill, mostly on edge cam now, they were transferring to edge cam. Um, the NC program is posted in the office. And, uh, and one of the things about Matsuri is speed, they're fast machines. Yeah. Are they getting the parts off the machines quicker than you were before you had them? Yeah, definitely, because uh, the tool changes are so quick. Everything's really close to the work holding, so well designed in order to get that part off the yeah, machine yeah, fast. Exactly, yeah. Okay, thanks Martin. No worries. Okay. H2M, Andy, what's it stand for? Hard to make. And how long has the company been going? Uh, just over two years now. Uh, started in Neneaton and just progressed into this new, new facility um, well, three months ago. And what gave you the idea of calling the business hard to make? Well, components that we make for a lot of our motorsport customers, we take on some of the most more difficult parts uh, and just seem so, to... So the clue is in the name. Can that come in any form? Can it come in the type of material you're machining? No, the any, complex any materials, you know, from titanium, zinc and alls, yeah. power generation units to uh, aluminiums and titaniums for the motorsport, so anything. Just show us this very quickly. Uh, a small complex part that we did for one of our motorsport businesses and a lot of work in that. An awful lot of work in that. Programming as well as actual machining. Uh, I wouldn't want to be responsible for the last operation, just in case I got it wrong. You certainly wouldn't. You certainly wouldn't. Now, now tell me about the, the story of the Matsura. You, you've had a lot of involvement with Matsura in your, in your working life. Yes, yes. I uh, set a previous business up uh, and we had a, it, the, well, we bought several Matsuras, uh, five axis Matsuras for an A350 project and Matsura uh, did a, an absolute cracking job in installation and help with uh, putting the first machines in and we just went from there. And, and why did you select these MX520s for this business? Uh, the 520 sort of, um, it, it gelled with the, the, what we were looking to do within the, uh, for, you know, with our customer base, easily accessible, good for short batch work, um, accurate, very accurate and quick. Uh, operator very friendly um, and it just seemed to, to fit exactly in what we wanted. And these machines are, were the first machines in this new unit I believe? They were as it happens yes they were the first two well one was a brand new one in and one we brought from Neaton. Can you get much more in here now? We can always get more in always <laughs> there's never a limit to what you can skew on into these places but yes. When, when you're making parts like these Andy how do you go about making sure they're quality components? Uh, well, obviously we've got all the uh, everything in within the business that we need to check the components, and a quality manager that's second to none. Um, that's all, really. 